gonna tell you something. Kodak is the goat, and I was watching that video, and I was thinking to myself, man, do people realize how dope Kodak Black is, yo? Not just as a personality, but as a rapper, as an artist. Like the thing that warmed my heart the most, and I know you know these true hip hop heads be like, ah, oh, man, you talk about Kodak Black. Kodak, I look at Kodak Black the same way I look at Kendrick Lamar. I'm, I'm not even joking. I, I I feel like they're they're both two different levels of prolific, mm. and they're telling like similar stories just from different places. They're just two different versions of of the, of the same kid from the hood. Is he uh, Florida's Biggie? Or no, down south, Biggie. No, no, no. I see you say, yeah, yeah. Storytelling ability. God damn, you just jumped off the balcony. You a Drake fan? Why would you just, <laughs> why, why would you just jump off the balcony? Why is like that a that? bad comparison to compare to him in that way? I mean, his skill, I, I, his I get, musicality, no, his storytelling uh, nah, ability. Nah, I mean, like, I'm gonna get at the Ross. If we go, if we go, if we're doing like just Florida rappers mm. that put you in the vein. It's Bryce Davis on the check in, and we got Charlemagne the God on the Brilliant Idiots podcast with Andrew Schultz where he crowns Kodak Black the GOAT and even compares him to Kendrick Lamar. Now, me personally, I think we're throwing around the word GOAT too loosely here. I mean, everybody's getting called the GOAT now when that's not a plural noun, you know what I'm saying? It refers to one person, you know what I'm saying? The greatest, you know, not the greatest. Obviously, that's not a word to my knowledge. But yeah, uh, I think what he's trying to say is, Kodak Black is going to be in the same level of greatness as a Kendrick Lamar or a J. Cole or, you know, Drake, whatever the case may be. But, you know, I'm not really a huge fan of Kodak Black, but I like Kodak Black, if that makes sense. You know, first time I heard him was on the Jaw Like and Joint with French Montana. And, you know, I started hearing him, you know, skirt, skirt, skirt. And, you know what I'm saying, a bunch of other songs that be playing in the club all the time. He's like one of those artists that can't miss. It's like real hard to explain. Maybe I'm just a hater. I don't know. But I feel like he don't miss. Like, you know, I be liking all of his songs. Because I do be listening to some of his projects. But something about him just doesn't connect with me. Like, I don't necessarily look forward to new Kodak Black music. But every time I hear it, I like it. I just don't look forward to it. If that makes sense to anybody... That's just where I'm at with it, you know. Um, the call, you know, shows try to say, are you trying to call him the Biggie of Florida? Uh, I guess if you want to do that, we can give that to Ross, but that's a weird title to have considering Biggie died, you know what I'm saying? Only putting one album out, I mean, technically two, but if you know what I mean, like, and Ross done put out, what, like 10 albums? I don't know, I'm just guessing at this point, but, you know, I just thought that, you know, this is, a headline, you know, to get, but shout, shout out to Charlemagne though. I typically like his hip hop takes for sure. You know, Schultz, not as much sometimes, but you know, he doesn't claim to be no hip hop enthusiastic, you know, individual anyway. Neither do I, don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? I cover rap, but I ain't no super rap nerd that knows all the lyrics, everything. I'm not some big super miracle lyrical guy neither, <laughs> you know, but the each is on. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.